सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर कर वह तेजस्वीना वधीतमस्तुमा विषा वह ओ शातिशातिशाति हरि ओम तत्सत ओम नम शिवाय वेलकम टू एवरी वन दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो दैट वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग टुडे फॉर बैक एक लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट ऑल द प्रैक्टिसेस एंड यू कैन फॉलो अलॉन्ग एंड हेल्प योर बैक टू गेट बेटर इवन इफ यू डो नॉट हैव बैक एक यू कैन यूज दीज स्पेशल प्रैक्टिसेस ऑल द आसनर्स टू प्रिवेंट बैक एक एंड इफ यू डू हैव बैक एक then this will help you immensely to get better so this practice is for about 30 minutes and you follow along watch the video follow the instructions and do whatever is comfortable for you and i'll keep giving the same instructions throughout the video as well so you begin by lying down on your abdomen and you can lie down on the abdomen on the floor on a yoga mat or you can lie down on the bed if your condition is quite painful and the back is quite stiff and you keep your forehead down on the mat keep your arms shoulder width apart legs hip width apart and you relax for a while this is a very special practice it's called advasana and it is meant to help to reduce the tension the cramping in the entire back all the practices require a little bit of time so you have to slow yourself down and allow breath and gravity to work on your back continue to breathe consciously breathe with awareness the better you breathe the better you will feel you can always slow down your breath make the breath slower longer and deeper as you begin your practice to reduce back pain and the stiffness of the back many of the practices you will find to be unusual and it will take some time for you to be able to feel comfortable and to also adjust in yoga we want to have a holistic approach to reducing and curing back ache once and for all and in this approach we use our breath and we use relaxation as very important techniques as you lie in advasan without moving slowly by and by with practice over a period of time lying still like this all the cramped muscles the tight muscles of the lower back middle back upper back shoulders and neck will start becoming more and more loose more and more supple it's good to practice advasana for extended periods of time until you feel better and better gravity is helping us our breath is helping us and our attitude towards relaxation is also helping us greatly continue to relax in advasana for a few more moments before we move on to the next practice continue to observe the breath feel the abdomen moving against the floor as you breathe enjoy the connection with your own breath um 
Next, let us practice Bhujangasan, the Cobra. Bring your legs together, heels together. Keep your hands, fingertips in line with your shoulders. Keep your elbows close to the body. Keeping the forehead still on the mat. Breathe a couple of times slowly and deeply. And then the next inhalation, slowly bring your head up, shoulders and chest up. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Do as little or as much as your body allows you. You don't have to come up too high. Continue to breathe and slowly exhale, come down. Let's do this a couple of more times. Follow the instructions. You don't have to come up too high. Just do what you can do comfortably. And remember that you should be able to breathe freely. Slowly inhale, bring the head up, shoulders up, chest up. Remember to keep your abdomen and pelvis on the floor. Keep breathing. Don't hold the breath at any stage. Slowly exhale, come down. We are working on the entire spine from the tailbone all the way to the base of the neck. One more time, inhale, head up, shoulders up, chest up. Breathe here. Your legs are together, your heels are together. Try to be relaxed and then slowly exhale, come down. Once more, relax in Advasana, stretch your arms forward, legs are slightly apart and allow your breath. You might find that it is difficult for you to keep your forehead comfortably on the floor. With practice, this will slowly happen. The next position or the next asana is Ardha Naukasan, the half boat. The next breath as you inhale, gently lift your head up, bring your right arm up and then diagonally bring the left leg also up. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Slowly exhale, come down. Very good. Now the opposite side. Inhale, first bring the head up, then the left arm up and the right leg up. Continue to breathe. Don't hold the breath. Breathe as freely, as slowly and as deeply as you can. Slowly exhale, come down. Let's try one more time. Inhale, head up. Right arm up, left leg up, keep breathing, don't hold the breath and slowly exhale, come down. On the other side, inhale, head up, left arm up, right leg up, keep breathing and slowly exhale, come down. Very good. Now relax just for a moment in Advasana once more. Experience the effect of your practice so far. Now bring your hands underneath your chin, one palm resting on top of the other. We are going to do Ardha Shalabhasana the half locust. Bring the legs together once more. As you inhale, bring the right leg up. It doesn't matter how high you bring the leg up. Keep breathing for a few breaths. Keep the leg up. Slowly exhale, right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. Keep breathing. It's not important to bring the leg up too high. Even if you lift it slightly off the floor, that's also more than enough. Exhale, leg down. 
Inhale, right leg up once more, keep breathing. We are working on the strength of the legs, the buttock muscles and one side of the lower back. Exhale slowly, come down. Inhale, the left leg up, keep breathing. We are working on the left leg, the left hip and the left side of the lower back. Exhale, come down. One last time, inhale, right leg up, keep breathing. Remember that if you feel uncomfortable, then you just stop and relax. Right leg down, exhale. Left leg up, keep breathing. Remember not to do any practice if you feel uncomfortable or discomfort or pain. Slowly exhale, come down. Now, turn your head to the right and slide your right knee along the floor towards your right elbow. We are relaxing in the baby Krishna pose. Relax your entire body, especially your hips and the lower back. Breathe all along the body, breathe all along the spine. The more you can learn to relax and the more you can modulate and control your breathing, the better you will feel. Once again, try to relax a little more the middle portion of the body. And slowly release this side. Let's try the other side. Turn your head to the opposite side and slide your left knee, left leg along the floor towards your left elbow. Continue to breathe slowly and consciously. As you practice, the flexibility will improve. This shows that the back is now returning to its normal suppleness. The knee will come closer and closer to the elbow. Keep breathing. Remember to relax the entire area along your waist, your lower back, your tailbone and your hips. Just imagine that all the muscles are becoming loose and they are moving towards gravity, towards the floor. And then slowly release the left side. Stretch your arms forward once more in Advasana, forehead on the mat, legs slightly apart. And now let's try another posture. Bring your hands underneath the chin once more and then separate your legs wide apart. You can spread the legs apart as far as they'll go according to your own flexibility for today and turn your heels inwards so that the ankles are resting on the floor and then continue to breathe. Do whatever you can do comfortably. If your legs are not coming too wide apart, that's all right. That's fine. If we can separate the legs more, please do that. As you keep your legs apart in this position, the inner thighs and the deep inner muscles connecting the thigh to the ribs are beginning to relax. This is very helpful in releasing any kind of tension and stiffness in the lower back muscles. Once you relax like this for a while, you will find that you are able to split the legs a little more apart. Please do that. Keep breathing. Remember, the slower and longer you breathe, the better it is. Um, 
Wonderful. Bring the legs together. Bring your hands by the side of your shoulders and stretch back into the child's pose, Shashankasana. Keep your knees apart. Sit down on your heels and keep your hands forward. Try to bring the forehead down on the mat. Arms and shoulders are relaxed. Elbows are resting on the floor. Even if your heels are not able to rest, the buttocks are not able to rest on your heels, that's all right. Keep breathing. Keep relaxing in the posture. Child's pose, Shashankasana. So wonderful pose to relax the whole back, lower back, upper back and shoulders and the neck. Very good for tiredness and very good to relax the brain. We know the connection between stress and the episodes of back pain. When there is more stress, the back feels more stiff. So when we learn to relax in this way, when the brain relaxes, so does the entire back. Give it time. Allow the body to rest and relax. Come and sit up, take your time and then let's do the butterfly. Sit with your feet touching each other, bring your heels close to the body, interlock your fingers and then flap your knees up and down. Do what you can do comfortably. Maybe your knees are not even able to move, that's all right. If your knees are flapping slightly, that's also fine. If the knees are coming close to the floor, that's great. If they're not, that's also fantastic. Just do according to your own flexibility and capacity. As we do the butterfly, the muscles around the hips and the pelvis and the inner thighs start to release their tension. And this is very helpful in reducing back pain. Continue to flap the knees. And then stop flapping the knees and move the toes forward, heels forward, a little more. And then try to slide your hands through the legs underneath your calf muscles and interlock your fingers ahead of your toes and drop your head. Now in case you're finding the back to be very stiff, then you can just keep your head up. And if you find it very uncomfortable, then do not do the pose. This is the tortoise, Kurmasana. Allow the knees to fall to the sides. Allow the inner thighs to relax. Allow the lower back, middle and upper back to relax. Relax your neck. And breathe a few times consciously and deeply.
Mm, good. Slowly come and sit up. And now stretch your legs forward and then lie down on your back. Relax for a moment, keeping your legs more than shoulder width apart, arms six inches away from the body, palms turned upwards. The classical pose of Shavasana. It's a wonderful pose to relax the whole body. Sometimes lying on the back like this, the back will feel very stiff. But you continue to practice and slowly by and by, the muscles of the back will relax as will all the muscles in the body and also all the organs and the brain. Um, very good. Let's continue. Now, let's practice the half wheel or the chakrasana. Bend your legs. Keep your feet close to the buttocks. Now, remember to separate your legs and separate your knees. Keep your fingers touching your heels. And as you inhale, lift your hips and thighs up, arching your back. Keep breathing. Don't hold the breath. We are now strengthening the thigh muscles, the buttock muscles and the lower back muscles. Slowly exhale, come down. Relax for a moment. Breathe a couple of times slowly and deeply. Once again, remember to do it only according to your capacity. Do only what is comfortable. Inhale, bring the hips and thighs up. Keep breathing. Breathe into the abdomen. Breathe into the lower back. Breathe slowly and deeply. Very good. Slowly exhale. Bring the hips down. Remember that these are some of the safest and gentlest exercises for all kinds of back pain. Deep breath. Inhale. Hips and thighs up once more. Keep breathing. But even though they are very gentle and very safe and we are doing it with the breath, remember that you should stop and not do it if you feel uncomfortable. Slowly exhale, come down. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, hips and thighs up. Breathing deeply. We are doing Ardha Chakrasana, half wheel. Sometimes also called Kandharasana because the weight is coming on to the shoulders. Slowly exhale, come down. Remember to always loosen the muscles as soon as you relax. One last time, deeply inhale, hips and thighs up. And breathing deeply, breathing long, and breathing slow. And exhale, come down. Very good. Now bend both knees into the chest and wrap your arms around the shins. Continue to breathe consciously and deeply. And then release the legs, stretch the legs forward, keeping your feet together. Let's do some gentle stretch for the legs. Inhale, bring the right leg up. And slowly exhale, right leg down. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale down. One more time, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. 90 degrees if possible. Otherwise, according to your capacity, exhale, left leg down. Now, just notice the position of the legs as they are brought up. Inhale the right leg up. It doesn't matter how high you are able to bring the leg up. 
but you want to notice that the knee is straight. So you can keep the leg a little lower towards the floor or as low and as maximum as you can bring it without bending the knee. And the toes are pointing towards the face, they are not pointing up. And you are continuing to breathe here. Now hold the thigh and keep breathing. You are gently releasing any tension in the back of the thighs. Remember that the legs are intimately connected to the lower back and it's very important to have suppleness in the legs for back pain to go away. Slowly exhale right leg down. Inhale left leg up. Keep breathing. Once again be aware of the straightness of the leg that is when you get the maximum stretch and you point your toes back towards the head. So you can keep the leg as low towards the floor as necessary or as close to the chest according to your own current flexibility. Then hold the leg. When you hold the leg you can also pull the leg slightly towards you towards the chest. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. And releasing the hands, exhale, bring the left leg down. Once again, bend both knees into the chest. This time interlock your hands behind your head underneath your head and then with the breath inhale and as you exhale drop both knees down to the right side look towards the left side you're giving a spinal twist or a twist for the entire spine as you inhale bring the knees up keep the knees close to the chest and exhale Bring the knees down to the left side, looking towards the right. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Inhale, bring the knees up, keep the knees close to the chest and exhale towards the right elbow, looking towards the left. You will notice that the feet are not on the floor as they are brought up. Inhale, knees up, the feet are in the air. Exhale, drop the knees down to the left side, looking towards the right. Do this three more times. Inhale up, exhale to the opposite side. Continue to breathe, looking in the opposite direction. Two more times on either side. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Giving a wonderful complete twist to the entire spine, gently massaging the spinal nerves from the base of the neck to the base of the spine. When you finish, relax in Shavasana, arms and legs apart, palms turned upwards. Relax your body, relax your mind. Um, very good. Now bring your feet together. Stretch both arms over behind your head. Inhale, give yourself a nice long stretch. And exhale, release your arms. Turning to one side, come and sit up. And then come and uh, sit on your heels. And then stand on your knees, 
and step forward with your right leg. Keep your hands on your right knee and very gently move your hips forward and down, getting a full stretch for the left leg. Keep breathing. You feel the stretch in the inner thighs, you feel the stretch in the hips and you feel the stretch in the lower back. If you feel confident and if you're feeling comfortable and you're steady, then you can also raise your arms up. Just keep the arms apart, you're looking forward. We're practicing a variation of Anjaneyasana, the half crescent moon, keep breathing. Slowly bring the hands down on the knee and then on the floor and take the right leg back and bring the left foot forward. Keep both hands on your left knee this time and move the hips forward and down. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs, the hips and also the lower back. It's a wonderful stretch to release the tension in the nerves and in the muscles. Stretch both arms up, looking forward. This time the work is being done by the middle and upper back and the neck. So the entire spine is now working. Slowly release the pose and uh, keeping your hands on the mat, stretch your left leg back, sit down on your heels and relax in the child's pose once more. Remember to separate your knees and keep your hands forward. Relax your shoulders, upper back, neck, middle back and lower back. Um, you can always continue to relax in each of the poses for as long as you like. You can even pause the video if you feel that this is something that you want to do for a longer period of time. Now come and sit up and then stand up. Let's do the warrior, Veer Bhadrasana. Take the length of the mat, separate your legs wide apart, turn your right toe towards the right side, bend your right knee and then open the arms out to the sides. As you can see, we are working on the whole body, not just one portion of the back. And the reason is that the back is connected to the entire body. You're not leaning one way or the other. The torso, the upper body is directly over the legs. And you're looking towards one hand. Now bring the hands down and straighten the leg. Turn the right toe forward left toe out towards the left side, bend your left knee and open the arms out to the sides once more. Remember not to turn your body, both arms are in one line and you are looking towards the left hand. Breathe slowly and deeply. Slowly release your hands, straighten the left knee, now turn both toes forward Keeping your legs still apart, we're going to do the forward bend. Lift your both arms up, inhale, and slowly as you exhale, release yourself forward and down. Remember to bend only as much as your current state of the back allows you. You can keep your hands on your knees or on your thighs or on your shins. But remember to relax the entire back. It's very important to utilize the capacity of your back in all movements, forward, backward, lateral twist, sideways, and also upside down. Wonderful. Slowly inhale, come back up. The last posture, the triangle, Trikonasan. Turn your right toe towards the right side. Left arm up. 
and slowly exhale bending towards the right. Keep looking forward, it's not important to bend too far, just do as much as you can do comfortably. Inhale, slowly come back up and release the side, change the side, right toe forward, left toe out, right arm up, inhale and bend to the left, exhale. A lateral stretch for the spine. Keep breathing. Very good. Inhale, slowly come back up and release the posture. Bring your feet together slowly and then take your time, come and lie down. Get ready for final relaxation. Arms and legs comfortably apart, palms turn upwards. Allow the body and the mind to assimilate the benefits of the practice. This happens while you rest in Shavasana. Give yourself an auto suggestion, send gentle silent command for different parts of the body to relax. Relax the toes, the feet, the ankles, the shins and calf muscles, the knees and the thighs. Relax the hips, hip joints and buttocks. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Relax the lower back, middle back, upper back. Relax the whole spine. Relax the fingers, the palms, the forearms, the elbows and the upper arms. Relax the shoulders and shoulder blades. Relax the neck and throat. Relax the face, the chin, the jaw, the cheeks, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the forehead. Relax all the internal organs by sending a gentle silent command. Relax the lungs, the heart and the brain. Finally, relax the mind. Slow down your thoughts. Calm down your feelings. Relax the mind. Welcome the silence. Welcome the stillness. Rest and relax. 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 Relax.
slowly bring the awareness back to the present move your fingers and toes hands and feet slowly bring the life back to the body and gently bring the legs together stretch both arms over behind your head inhale nice long stretch and exhale release the arms turning to one side come and sit up let's finish the session with a prayer sit comfortably experience the benefits of your practice Satoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishade Om Shanti 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 He Sadguru Maharaj Ki Jai Hari Om Tat Sat Have a wonderful and safe practice and do send in your feedback as you practice and benefit from the video. Om Tat Sat